This is the uh, original Top Gear Astra 1.6 tech line, the manual, not the automatic. Um, it was originally made by Vauxhall and they actually put the cage in. You can see it's been sculpted around here to actually fit the cage, taken off the production line. Um, they retained the car and after Clarkson left, they didn't know what was going to go on with the show, so they put it up to a charity auction. A Porsche dealer called Ashgood Porsche in London bought it. Um, they use it for publicity and a courtesy car. Um, I acquired it during lockdown because they couldn't sell their cars at the time. No one was buying anything. So they put it in for Bonham's a car auction and the auction shut. Um, I then gave them a cash price for it uh, and I've been using it every day for my day driver since, for about two and a half years. I've run 20,000 miles in the car. It arrived with me with 6,000 miles on the clock and it left Top Gear with 3,000 miles on the clock. And the other day I had uh, Ben Collins of Stig drive it and he signed the dashboard. And um, he's the only it's his only car that uh, two Stigs have driven. The Stig after Ben drove it, Ben's driven it, and Perry McCarthy, the original black Stig, is going to drive it as well. So it's the only car that will have been driven by all three Stigs. <laughs> My name's Tim and I've come down to simply Vauxhall today in two of my Vauxhall Calibras. Uh, first one is C4 LTW which I have had for about 12 years now. Um, haven't really actually done that much to it. When I bought it, it already had quite a few modifications done to it and I wanted to retain that as I thought it was part of the car's history. Um, apart from maintaining it um, and keeping everything you know, topped up right as it should be, she's fairly standard. Um, the only change that I did make with the wheels, um, the reason why I love Calibra so much is I did a cheap car rally and we bought a Calibra for 50 quid and did 11 countries in five days. And the only thing that remains of that car are the wheels which are on this one here, which are the correct wheels for the car. So um, yeah, this is C4 LTW. It's got the wrong front end on it. It should have a lighter front end because it's a lighter car. And if it had got this front end, it should have an emblem there. But otherwise, yeah, this is C4 LTW. The other one that I've brought down is my Calibra Turbo, which I've only had for about nine months. This car I saw on the owner's club, one of the owners did a full restoration on it and immediately fell in love with it. And I said to him, if he was ever going to sell it, could I buy it from him? And he said, I probably won't, but yes, I'll give you first refusal. And about six months later, he rang me up and said, do I want to buy it? So uh, I ended up buying um, the Calibra Turbo. There's only about 30 of these on the road because they all got taken to bits for the engine because it's a pretty good engine in them um, but otherwise yeah this is an early turbo um, pretty much as it should be quite a rare color as well this high voltage purple which looks black apart from when it's nice and sunny which it always is at Beaulieu um, so those are my two Calibras two of the four Calibras that I own
next runner up goes to the 